This will hopefully be a quick video concerning the conversion of my Giant 2014 Trans from a 135 millimeter quick release to a 12 by 142 through axle. In the years 14 through 16, 14, 15, and 16, three years Giant, before they converted to a through axle, they, they made it so these dropouts can be replaced and so that you can buy this kit and convert it to a through axle. Now, Clint Gibbs made a really good video about, uh, one, this bike, which coincidentally is the exact same bike he has. But he made a video on the installation. This kit I bought was, uh, he said it was 10 bucks, but it was 16 now in 2020. And the part number, model year, 14 through 16, Anthem and Entranced 142 by 12 millimeter. Now, I won't go into the details. I'll let you watch his video. His video is really good. One thing I wanted to mention was I went on to Pink Bike and there was a thread concerning the quality or they changed this mount evidently and there's evidently they don't really fit properly inside the frame anymore but it does work because the, someone hypothesized that they changed, they changed the dropouts and uh, didn't bother changing the kit. Another thing I wanted to mention, this is more of a, a newbie thing is that this is a 135 skewer. You'll see on the internet it'll say 135 slash 5 or 135 slash 10. The 5 refers to the skewer millimeter, the width, and then the 10 is the, the hole opening. So when you see them, they're interchangeable. The, the 135 slash 5 slash 10 are identically the same thing. So another thing I wanna mention is the through axle that you have to use. Clint mentions in the video that it's proprietary, even though it's made by DCT Swiss, you're supposed to order the giant brand through axle at $59. And that's because they use a 1.5 millimeter thread, I believe, I'm not exactly sure. You're supposed to use their through axle. Someone made a comment that they were using this Shimano SM AX56 and it worked fine. So the only difference is it's not a ratchet. Um, the giant one is a ratchet like this where you pull it out and then you can rotate this arm wherever you want it. This is identical to what's on my front fork. So I don't really think that's a, uh, you know, you just don't tighten it as much if you want to get it in a, in a particular position. So here we go. I've installed the, the kit. Basically just replacing the pieces uh, for a 12 millimeter opening. As you can see, the frame already has the 12 millimeter and this lets the the wheel sit inside that inset and on the other side is the 12 millimeter uh, don't forget to do what Clint mentions in his uh, video and that is to uh, loosen the derailleur from the hanger while it's still on the bike so you can get some torque on it otherwise it becomes difficult to get that off so this is the gap I think they were talking about on the uh, drivetrain side I've installed a washer there to sort of take up some of it but this washer isn't really thick enough when I tightened it down it did it did clamp it but I don't want to torque it too much to get it out of alignment so I have to I have to check this still to see if this threads in correctly because there's a screw on this side that comes through and holds there. There you can see the hole there that holds that in. But they were concerned about this air gap because if you tighten this, it tweaks this threaded part. They came to the conclusion in the reality that the through axle is what holds it and it's not that big of a deal. Put the axle through, I'm finding it's kind of a challenge because of the chain pull and the frame being kind of loose here in the back. There we go. So this is not the giant through axle. This is a Shimano. There we go there and it wants to do it there. I could probably... So that I'm stuck in this position which isn't terrible. I prefer to be a little bit lower. And this is where it wants to go if I was to snug it up all the way, which isn't necessarily the best spot because, I mean, it's fine. It's just a little bit, I'll show you another view, but it's a little, the frame, it's at the worst possible point for the frame. So if I back it off a little bit, I could, it's still snug, it's not loose by any means. And I could probably put it right in, uh, right there. And that's pretty snug. You can see it went in a little bit further. And so here it is. And you can see it's going to want to go against the frame there. Whereas if I back it off a little bit, I can probably get it a little bit more. I can get it pretty flush that way. Looks like it goes in about another three quarters of an inch. So there you go, that's the price you pay for not paying $59 and paying 20 instead. Hope you got something out of this. I know it's specific to giant bikes, years 14 through 16. 